Hello everyone, this is Shell C from Paper Rock Tio Studio, and today I have a quick ornament that you can make. You might recognize those papers to the right on my screen. That's what's left of the project that I showed you where I was making my Christmas cards out of a master board, and I, I printed all those on a jelly plate, and then I showed you how I, I glued them onto things and then made cards out of them. That's a different video and I'll link it below. So I'm basically doing the same thing for the beginning of this project. I still have those pieces. I haven't made any more Christmas cards. Shame on me, but I've been busy. So I am just gluing my deli paper printed pieces to this piece of, of cardstock because I need them to be thicker. Their deli paper won't work, but cardstock will. And actually the the other ornament that I made that I'll show you at the end, I made it out of um, just regular jelly printed cardstock. It was stuff that was left when I was doing this. So really this is like the second thing that I've done with all these little papers that I made for that Christmas card project. So these are uh, blue and teal and purple. Still liking that for, for the holidays. I haven't made anything green and red yet. I will, I promise, but I haven't. And I'm just uh, quickly gluing all these down. I'm using Deco Arts Deco Page Satin Finish because these do have a little bit of shimmer on them, shimmer paint, so I don't want to ruin that, so I'm not using a matte glue. You could use Mod Podge Glossy. You could use um, you know, any of the Liquitex mediums that are that have gloss in them anything like that and actually what I wish that I had been using if I had it it was it's on my wish list um, deco arts has a a decoupage medium that has glitter in it and I didn't I had never heard of that and then they were having a sale and I was convincing my mother that what I needed for Christmas was some more art supplies because you could never have enough so we were looking at them online and and I was looking through all their mediums and they actually have one that's got glitter I was like that I have to have that that's so cool but I don't have it yet so you'll see what I do after I do this as I'm thinking about that about that glitter decoupage I wished I had <laughs> I don't know. I don't always use glitter. In fact, most of my projects are very matte. But at Christmas time, it just seems like things should be sparkly and glittery. And you think about snow and frost and how it sparkles in the sunshine. So that's probably why I keep using these colors and glitter and things. I just I just can't seem to stop. So they I gave that a good dry. And then this is when I when it came to me that what I really needed was some some glitter. Uh, decoupage medium so I just took that same medium poured a little bit of it out on my palette because I didn't want to contaminate it and then this is just uh, dazzling diamonds iridescent glitter it's from Stampin Up and it's a very very sparkly iridescent super fine glitter and I'm just mixing that right into my decoupage like I don't need to buy it I can just make it what was I thinking and then I'm just going to put this all over the top of my um, my piece that's got the decoupaged deli paper all over it. It's, it's hard to see how sparkly it is in the video, but um, some of the pictures at the end you can see the glitter on the paper. I'll try to show it to you, but it's because of the glare and I don't know. Video just doesn't really pick up sparkles and shimmers very much for some reason. So of course I have to, to dry this and you'll see me with my heat tool and then of course I cut that out again. It did bubble a little bit because I was impatient but now I'm just trying to show you the glitter. I don't know if you can really see what it looks like in there but it's, it's cool. So this project that I'm showing you today, I learned to do this as a child and I if you've watched some of my, I, I don't know what other video it is, but I was talking about how when I was a child, my mom's family, we used to make ornaments every year for each other. So we'd make like 12 or 15 of an ornament and then we'd exchange them and then everyone would have a new handmade ornament 
for their tree. This is one of the ones that I did with my mother. Of course, back then we didn't have punches and we didn't have scoring tools and we didn't have all these things. So we cut out the circles and, and what we used to do it was um, last the, the previous year's Christmas cards because you know there's lots of pretty pictures on Christmas cards and pretty colors and sometimes glitter. So we had a template and we would draw the circles and then cut them out. But for this I'm just using a 1 and 3 eighths inch punch. D um, the bigger circles you make, the bigger the, the final snowball ornament will be. The smaller you go, the smaller it will be. That's just kind of logic. So you can see I have 5 and then I have 10 and then I have 5 again. That's how many you need, 20, to make this. And I'm just kind of reorganizing them. I'm trying to show you the punch, but it's too too um, shiny and it, you can't read it. It says 1 and 3 eighths. And then I'm showing you, I have a little template that I've made that's a triangle, an equal sided triangle that's about 1 inch on each side. And I just placed my little template, it's made out of chipboard, on there. And then I'm using a ball stylus to score. And then I just fold and now you have a triangle inside of the circle. It kind of reminds me of uh, Harry Potter or maybe the Illuminati, I'm not sure. <laughs> but you get the idea. You're just going to be making all of those 20 into this and you and I speed it up some and I and then I'll show you how to put them together. So, the place that you glue is the little flaps. All those little flaps will eventually be glued to other little flaps. And I like to use Aileen's Tacky Glue because it becomes tacky very quickly, but you do have a little bit of wiggle room. But you don't have to s sit there and hold it. So it's it's really the perfect glue. Thank you, Aileen, for making a glue that works. I, I really love it. You see me using it a lot. I buy it in the big bottle. I don't mess around with those small bottles. So I'm scoring each one and then folding them and gluing them together. This is going to be the top. I'm starting with the top and then I'll move to the middle which is the 10 and then the bottom is another 5. It's a pretty simple project but it's very effective. I have some, I have two of them that are from back when I was a kid. I treasure those ornaments, the ones that were handmade. My mom gave me some of them, she has some of them. And when I get them out every year to, to decorate the tree, I'm like, oh, my grandma made this. And, you know, she's she's gone now. And it's just, it's really a great tradition. I don't know why we stopped. I guess people started having too many ornaments for the tree. <laughs> Eventually, with that big of a family, my mom has 10, 10 siblings. I guess eventually you're going to have too many ornaments. And I, w I was also thinking that I would start... Um, actually I st already started this but I haven't gotten very far for my children to just since I'm a maker and I create stuff to just make an ornament each year and put it in a box and then when they get you know they're married or whatever or they've got their own family and they're having their first Christmas to give them that as a gift I think that would be very special okay so this becomes kind of in the center a five-pointed star but it's also a little cap because it's 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 well I'm gonna turn it upside down in a second there's a couple places where the decoupage for some reason is not stuck down on the edge so I'm just sticking it down you'll see me do that a couple times and I did put that ribbon in because this is the top I'm, I want the ribbon to have time to dry so I'm going to do the 10, and I'm now speed it up. I'm going to score and fold all those 10. And the way that you glue these together is slightly different, and you'll see the difference when I do it. That top, you're gluing it right into a little five pointed star, and it's kind of a dome. And then when you flip it over, it's got the five petals that almost looks like a flower. But for the center part, you don't glue them exactly the same. So I'm scoring and uh, Folding all these, counting them to make sure there's 10. <laughs> you know, I'm fussy. One could have fallen on the floor, you never know. 
things fall off my desk all the time. I lose them. I crawl under the desk looking for things. Hit my head on the desk. It happens all the time. Okay, I almost got him folded. That one, that one, the little flap was unstuck. If you saw how much decoupage I put on there, you wouldn't think that anything would be unstuck, but a few of the little flaps were. Who knew? Okay, so the first three are the same. <clears throat> Just starting with gluing two flaps together. And then I'll put another one on. So it looks like I'm starting to make the same little dome-shaped star flower thing. But this fourth one where is where it starts to change. Instead of gluing it on the bottom again, I'm gluing another one to the side. So now I'm creating a zigzag. And I'll just continue that pattern to make a straight zigzag line. And this is the middle, the round middle part of the snowball. I can make one of these in Sokaju in about 15 minutes. There is drying time at the end, but that's really, with, with today's modern tools of having punches and everything, it's a quick little project and you can make quite a few. And there's, you know, lots of variations of what kind of paper, you know, you could use the, the recycled Christmas cards from last year if you still have them and punch out pretty sections of those or jelly printed paper or um, if you have any kind of pattern card stock even something like Kohl's ads that come as a postcard you know they're kind of a shiny postcard I don't know if you guys have Kohl's but once you punch out the circle you can't really see the picture anymore You're, it's just becoming color and pattern so you could really you could use junk mail to make these there's all different types of things. Okay, so now I've got the next five folded, but first I'm going to glue on the center. So I'm putting glue on each flap of that thing that looks like a flower. And then I'm just going around and attaching the flaps that you can tell coordinate. You know, once you start when you start start the first one and you're curving it around, you can see which ones need to go where. It's not rocket science. It's just pretty simple crafting. And there's a, one of my flaps was unglued again. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> Is glue not gluing today? I don't know. Sorry, I went off camera. I sometimes do that when I'm like trying to look at something closely. So I'll turn this over for you in a minute, and you'll see that it's now made a bigger cup. But there's still a five flower thing on the bottom and that's where our bottom cap is going to go so I'm doing exactly the same thing as I did on the top except for not putting the ribbon in because it only needs to hang up on one side I'm sorry I go off camera I really really have to pay more attention but I get into the zone and I'm just doing it and I bring it up closer to my face so that I can see what I'm doing and then that's when it gets drawn off camera. I'm sure that's annoying for everyone. It's annoying for me to watch it. I'm sorry. Okay, so now I've got my little five-pointed star, which looks like a flower on the bottom. Same as the top. I'm just getting it all pinched together. And then I'm going to put glue on each flap again. And just stick it to the flaps, the coordinating flaps on the bottom of that. See how easy that was? Super easy. You could do this with your kids. I did it. I made those when, these when I was, you know, 8 or 10 years old with my mother. And I still remember how to make them. So it was obviously a defining moment in my life. <laughs> so there you have it. Hangs right on your tree, just like that. But of course, I have to bling it out some more. Got some stickles. This is a uh, iridescent stickles. I think it's diamond. I think that's what it's called, diamond. And I'm just putting it on each edge. Uh, what we did when I made the, these as a child is we put our tacky glue on all the edges and then rolled the ball in a um, 
dish of glitter. You can imagine what a mess that was. <laughs> glitter everywhere for months. <laughs> Glitter's so fun though. But with stickles or some other type of glitter glue, it's it's all contained. It's not going to get anywhere except for on your fingers. So you can just glitter things to your heart's content. Another idea that I had that I didn't do is um, for each of the, the, the little places where the five points meet, you could glue a gem or a sequin. I think that would be pretty, but I didn't do it. I just did the glitter on this one. Maybe the next one I make, which maybe will be red and green. I'll put a sequin on it or a, a gem. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this project. This was for the uh, hashtag love winter art from the creative arts collaboration and i'll link their playlist and information um, below and above and thanks for watching and please comment like subscribe share all those things if you enjoyed this video that's it for me thanks bye bye